What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video we are checking out some spicy battles in the Weather Cup Ultra League edition from Trainer71, Tyrantrum, Galissapod, and Empoleon. What a unique and cool team, Galissapod got that Shadow Claw, we'll have to see what Tarantum can actually do in this meta, hope you guys enjoy. Alright, getting into the first battle, we do see Abomasnow on the lead, so they're going to swap out right away into Galissapod. Now Galissapod, oh, Polyrath is not a good answer to Galissapod. Just going off the typing, this is just like Araquanid, the bug water typing, which means everything is going to be resistant. Now Galissapod having access to Shadow Claw is going to gain energy very quickly. It does have some nice coverage moves here with Aerial Lace and x scissor but unfortunately the aerial ace just i mean it does do super effective damage in this situation right here against polyrath right but it's not the best flying move out there but either way this is looking pretty good here for the galissapod now to take out the polyrath here comes the second charge move. It is going to be a Scald. Now, that is a power-up punch Scald as well, so it did a decent amount of resisted damage, but Glissopod is going for the hard farm down. They're also going to no-shield this as well, so reading that it is another power-up punch and not a Scald is a good call right there, and they should be able to take switch advantage right now, which is going to be pretty huge considering that Abomasnow can do very well against Tarantum because it is... Um, part dragon typing so we will actually see a swap out now they're going to swap out right away and the polytoad is going to be coming in so they are taking a decent amount of damage right here from the mud shots but thankfully this is dragon rock tarantum if you didn't know so this weather ball is only going to be doing neutral damage and these dragon tails are really starting to add up as well so as long as they get this polyrath low they should be able to close this game out considering they have i believe two or very close to two aerial aces plus an empoleon there for or the Obama snow that was on the lead. So here comes the crunch. A crunch from a Tarantum just makes so much sense. We do see the Obama Snow come in right away and decide to throw the charge move. So instead of committing to the farm down, so that's actually a really good situation now for them because they can come in with Galissapod. They're going to go ahead and go for X Scissors here for super effective damage as well. You might as well. It's a lower energy. They do get a shield. Now let's see how much damage these are going to be doing here against Obama Snow. I believe that is two shields gone. Let's see. Yep, two shields are gone, so it does land. They're going to go ahead and go for a third one, which is really nice. And then Empoleon should be able to close this game out by coming in and farming down. Yeah, they do swap to the Empoleon and Waterfall down. And that's looking to be a good first game, very well played. So the Ultra League Weather Cup is new this season. There are a lot of strong XL Pokemon that are in the meta. But this team does look pretty fun. I think the Galissapod is what I'm really looking forward to seeing how it performs because it's more of like an attack-based Araquanid. Again, the bug water typing. So they should be able to close this game out. They are going to shield the potential Earthquake, but I don't even think that was enough energy. Yeah, it was just a Weather Ball. I think the, poly or the uh, Politoed decided to throw um, right away. Yeah, they are throwing right away. So this isn't going to do too much damage. And Empoleon will, should be able to farm down. Yep, and they do decide to surrender after going for back-to-back -back weather balls. Okay, good game. Give it the next one. Alolan Golem on the lead. So they will be resisting, um, which is really nice right here because of the dragon typing. So let's see what they decide to do. This might just be a wild charge and bail. No, it is going to be a rock blast there for neutral damage. And then the Tarantrum is obviously sitting in the driver's seat right now. Um, with these dragon tails damage they're gonna have to shield yeah they will give up a shield right here to that next rock blast and try to commit to the farm down but it's gonna be extremely close they are gonna swap out into empoleon to catch the charge move and this is risky i think it's gonna be another rock blast yeah it is gonna be rock blast which is resisted that's a good catch right there on them but is this gonna be a good play obama snow in the back with razor leaf oh that is hurting right now Drill Peck here might just force the first shield, but Razor Leaf Abomasnow might just be able to uh, take out Galissapod as well. This is going to be very... I mean, I don't think Galissapod is going to go down, honestly. It's only going to take a neutral. But this Tarantrum does have some energy loaded, so let's see how this plays out. They're going to come in with the Galissapod, but it's Razor Leaf. This is going to hurt, and I think that... Is it enough for an energy ball? 
Yeah, it is going to be an energy ball right there. A good chunk of damage, and this is now a dangerous situation here for them. They have to go for the X Scissor, and if they get a shield, they're going to have to swap into Tarantum and throw the Crunch. No, they don't get a shield, so they decide to commit the final shield now to the last Pokemon, which is going to be a Kyogre. Okay, that's spicy. Usually Kyogres are only seen in the Master League, but in this Weather Cup for Ultra League, anything really goes. They're going to go ahead and come in with Tarantum and go for as many crunches as possible. And Kyogre might just be able to take this one. If they do get a shield here, which they do, they could go for Stone Edge and the Defense. Okay, Tarantum is going to show who's the best dinosaur right here. I guess Kyogre isn't a dinosaur, but maybe it's an underwater dinosaur. I don't know. You guys let me know, but good game. All right, so we got Kingdra on the lead. Super effective versus a super effective with the fast moves. Who's going to be doing better? It looks like Kingdra is winning this one, but they do get to the crunch in time. If this forces the first shield, this really could set up a nice end game sweep, and they do get a shield, so they're going to go ahead and swap into Galissapod now and load up on energy. But here comes the charge move. I think it's just going to be an Octazooka. Let's see. Yeah, it is just an Octazooka. Doesn't do any damage and no drop as well, which is huge. And a Bomb of Snow coming into this is not the best answer. Galissapod does confuse some people. It is relatively new, especially with the Shadow Claw update. A lot of people are not prepared for the typing and move set. And Galissapod obviously is going to be handling a Bomb of Snow very, very well right here in this situation. They do get two shields. Okay, interesting. They're going to go ahead and give up one shield themselves to stop the potential energy ball. But I don't think that was enough for Energy Ball, which is why it was just a Weather Ball. It's kind of hard to keep track of the fast moves um, coming through because this is sped up a bit. So they can get multiple when I think it should just be like one or two. They're going to go ahead and load up on Energy and go for the X Scissor now to take out the Obama Snow. Kingdra out of energy, somewhat low on health, and we'll have to see what that final Pokemon is going to be. It is going to be a Swampert, so that's going to be a good game right here, as Galissapod should be able to get to, well, definitely one right here, but it might just be able to get to two if Swampert's going to try to over farm. Let's see what the Swampert decides to do. No, it decides to throw right away. That's fine, Empoleon can close this game out relatively easy with a shield, so they will let the Hydro Cannon go. They'll probably come in now with, okay, they're going to come in with Tarantum and just do as much damage as they can with Dragon Tail and now close it out with Empoleon. So just forcing all the energy here from Swampert, knowing that Kingdra is out of energy. Empoleon just needs to worry about an Earthquake now. We do see a swap out into the Kingdra so they can overload right here and go for the Drill Pack, and that's going to be a good game. Swampert does not have enough health, shields, or energy to really bait with a hydro cannon and land an earthquake now in this situation so they can safely shield this no matter what it is it is going to be the hydro cannon and one more waterfall should be able to get them their own hydro cannon that's going to be a good game very well played so again galissapod kind of confusing the opponents right there i mean honestly they didn't have the best answer the best answer was kingdra all right we got another 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 alolan golem here on the lead so let's see how they decide to handle it. We do see a swap out into Swampert. So they're going to go ahead and go for the Crunch now. And honestly, they have two good options to catch the charge move here if they decide to try to catch the Hydro Cannon. And it's probably going to be that Galissapod again. Here comes the Galissapod. And no, they decided to hold it. But let's see if the Swampert does have Sludge Wave. Here it comes. Is it going to be the Sludge Wave? No, it's going to be the Earthquake. That's resistant. Still does a good amount of damage, but Galissapod again in a really good situation. We've seen that multiple times throughout this video against Polyrath, against Obama Snow, against um, Swampert. Now it's just really, really nice. And that Shadow Claw as well makes it so spammy. It can do well against the Ghosts if you do see it, like a Trevenant, for example. So they're going to go ahead. They might have to give up a shield here if they want to try to commit to the farm down. But let's see what they decide to do. They're going to go ahead and no shield the first Hydro Cannon. They're going to have to shield the second. Yeah, here comes the second one. They will have to shield unless they decide to no shield everything. Okay, they're going to let Glissopod go down. They want energy, and they want energy on Empoleon right here. So there's two waterfalls. Three waterfalls should be enough. No, they get to the charge move in time. I think this is just going to be a Hydro Cannon, so they could let it go. Oof, if that was an Earthquake, that would have been deadly. But we do see a Ho-Oh come in. They're going to come in with Tarantum and look to go for the Stone Edge. They already had a good matchup with Empoleon, but they said, no, I want this ancient dinosaur to boom Ho-Oh out of the sky and boom, you shall. Boom! One shots it right there. And that is going to be a good game as the Alolan Golem is going to try to do its best to take out Tarantrum, but... 
Empoleon should be able to take this right there as Rock Blast does get it low. They do get to the crunch in time. We'll have to see if this is enough to take it out. Honestly, I have never seen this damage yet in Go Battle So this is gonna be a first. No, not enough, barely. Okay, they do get to another charge move. That's okay. They're saving their shields for the next game with a victory as well. So Empoleon's one waterfall will be able to take this, and that is going to be a good game, very well played. All right, next up, we got Swampert now on the lead. So they are taking super effective damage. They decide to swap into Galissapod, and in comes Credilly. This is going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. Spammy Credilly, pretty bulky. Galissapod as well. Both of these Pokemon are going to be doing a decent amount of damage to each other but let's see how this will play. Here comes the X Scissors now. It's gonna do a decent chunk of damage here against Cradilly, but Cradilly is XL, and so it can hang on. There's two now, so this is gonna be a race to the third one, and who's gonna be giving up that first shield, right? A Grass Knot could force a shield now from Glissopod, but can it get to the next one in time? Okay, they're gonna to commit to the farm down. They will give up a shield now, and fully farm down the Cradilly, which is always nice because coming out of here with two full X scissors is gonna be really good against the Swamper, but Swamper does have a Hydro Cannon because it did load up on energy before bailing out. So we'll have to see if they can get this back to back. There's the first one. Here comes, they do get the back to back. That's really huge here for the Glissopod to chunk that neutral damage against the Swampert and potentially force a shield because now Dragon Tail and Waterfall, they decide to swap into the Empoleon to try to force the energy now from Swampert. They will give up a shield against the potential Earthquake. No, it was just a Hydro Cannon. They could get boomed right here, but they decide to swap out into a Bomb of Snow and this is now a very tough situation. If a Bomb of Snow plays this correctly, it could sweep this whole team. There goes the first shield. They'll have to get to two more in order to try to even get Obama Snow relatively low. And remember that Swampert is still loaded on energy. Here's the first energy ball, and this is where things get very dicey. I think Obama Snow is going to be able to take it as the next drill pack coming through will force the final shield. And the opponent knows it. They know they have the dinosaur that was on the lead that is that does have a lot of health. And they know they have Swamper with a lot of energy. So here comes the energy ball now to take out Empoleon. And this is going to be a very, very close end game. Their only hope is to really catch a charge move. But who do you, do you catch? Do you catch the weather ball? No, they just go straight for the crunch before the Obama Snow gets the weather ball off. And is this going to do enough damage? No, it is not. They do swap now into Galissapod, and the Swampert comes in, so Galissapod gets the x scissor off. That's huge. All the energy gone now on Swampert, and Galissapod cannot be farmed down now. It's going to take Obama Snow's Weather Ball in order to take it out, but Galissapod clutches it up and gets to one more x scissor. Beautiful right there from Galissapod, Shadow Claw, and x are extremely spammy and very good in this meta, and that was the final battle. So, honestly, I'm really impressed with Galissapod. It needed Shadow Claw. Granted, I would love to see other charge moves on it that were a bit more powerful, um, depending on what it has access to, as Aerial Ace isn't the best, but honestly, it's going to be really nice against some of those fighters. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, shout out to Trainer71 for sharing these battles with us. Really spun and, <laughs> spun and feisty team. Fun and spicy team. <laughs> like always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.